Okay. Okay, we have three vessels here. We have two veins and one artery. How can we tell these are veins? Well, we have valves in the veins. We don't have them in the artery. The artery doesn't require veins because the blood's under pressure. In the veins, sometimes it's very difficult to get the blood back to the heart, especially from the lower part of the body, because it's, uh, we don't have a heart out in the tissues. But the valves you can see are like semi-lunar valves. There's no cordy tendon in the E and no uh, papillary muscles. You can tell the flow of blood is towards the heart here because this valve is closed, this one is open. Uh, the tra uh, traveling in the opposite direction would be the flow of blood in the artery. Now the walls all have three coats or tunics. The innermost coat is called the tunica interna uh, and it's simple squamous which makes the endothelium on top of the basement membrane. In the artery we also have the internal elastic lamina, not in the vein. Now especially important in the artery is the tunica media which has elastic tissue and also smooth muscle. Closer to the heart we have what we call elastic arteries that have a relatively more elastic tissue because of the pulsation of the blood uh, going through them. They have to expand and recoil. Those are also called conducting arteries. They carry blood over a large distance. Further away from the heart we have a relatively more smooth muscle and those are called distributing arteries uh, or muscular arteries and when the muscle contracts it can cause the blood flow to go, go in one direction or not go in one direction. When it contracts obviously the blood doesn't go in that direction. So this is a very important tunic in the arteries. In the veins the tunica media is much smaller. Uh, also outside here we have the tunica externa in the, in, the, in the arteries. The outermost layer is the tunica externa. I think they've made a mistake with this model. It should be thicker in the vein than in the artery. Uh, the vein has a larger lumen notice and a thinner wall so often veins uh, collapse. So the arteries uh, remain open and very muscular walls a much smaller lumen. You can also see the elastic in internal elastic lamina here and external elastic lamina here. Arteries tend to be deep for protection. Uh, veins may be deep or superficial. If they are deep, they often accompany the arteries going in the opposite direction. And oftentimes we have two veins for each artery. They often have the same names. 